Hello and in today's lecture we are going to discuss about how to recover a deleted Azure storage account. This generally not happen in the production environment because we follow the standard uh, and best practices for the storage account like we, we assign the RBAC role for each and every user and on top of that if you use the and enroll the policy on the resource group level for your resources should be lock okay if you enable this lock so that no one can delete any resources from the particular resource group but for this particular uh, demo what we are you know thinking that we miss this one even we miss this one and accidentally we deleted our storage account okay so in that case how we can record that particular storage account yeah definitely we can record the deleted storage account but if that match the conditions so condition number first is that your storage account within a 14 days from the date day it was deleted so if it is you cross 14 days and means it is 15 days then you will not able to recover your storage account so within 14 days we can recover our storage account the second thing uh, the second condition is that your storage account will be deployed by using ARM modules so classic model it not supported for the uh, recovery of the storage account next one is that this once like you know if your storage account has the name like a b c it's your storage account name so make sure that this name was not been uh, created or taken by anyone who created the storage account on the azure or because or whatever the storage name that we are going to assign for the storage account that is, that should be unique that's why this requirement uh, this condition is there and last uh, condition is that whoever going to uh, run this particular task that person should have appropriate RBAC permission to his ID so that he can perform the recovery task successful okay so let's do the demo what we can do we can delete a storage account and then we try to recover that particular storage account in our demo part so be tuned so now we are on the azure portal and this is what the storage account uh, that's we are using for this storage account for our demo, demo purpose so let's check you know what's there in this particular storage account if you go into the container I have created one container here with the data and here there is one file called demo.txt so again let's go into the you know storage account and let me click on the review and here I am going to delete this particular storage account okay here we need to specify the storage account name as we are deleting it so let me copy this particular name and let me put it here so that uh, this uh, delete button will be enabled and let me click on the delete so it's validating our uh, deletion operation uh, once it is validated it's uh, already validated and it's deleted our storage account if you see here the option uh, your account is successfully deleted if i refresh on this particular page so definitely we will get the uh, get the error saying that you know it's not found okay now we want to record this particular storage account if you remember this was the you know, storage account name okay so let's go into the recovery part and let's recover it so now considering that we are on our home page and if i go into any part uh, any uh, storage account that is available in my uh, subscription just open that your storage account and go on the bottom of your storage account panel where you will get option for the uh, support and troubleshooting just click on record deleted account so if you see here it's again showing that you know uh, the uh, you will pop up what are the uh, storage account those got deleted uh, within a 14 days so this is what our storage account right so let's click here and click on the recover so it will start recovering your storage account even uh, if you see here the message like whatever this recovery service uh, this is not a guaranteed uh, solution okay so 
whatever that is appearing here in, in a drop down it may be may be record or may not be record okay but we can give us a try from our end to record it there are another one option to record this particular storage account and that option is that you need to raise a ticket with a microsoft so that they can recover your storage account again the condition will be applied to that particular storage account like what are the condition that we discuss in the first slide all those condition will be applied so we we can you know utilize this particular option and we can give us try from our end to recover it on the first place if not then raise a ticket so that's it for this lecture guys i hope it will you know help you out in your career thank you